Someone asked what would I do with these? I'm not sure yet, but let's get started. the first of my two projects. I made this one for my mother. I ended up using the thankful sign as a base on this one and so I played off of those colors. She wanted one that was lighter and so the new velvet pumpkins at Dollar Tree worked perfectly for this along with a bunch of lamb's ear that I ended up getting from Hobby Lobby earlier in the season. I accented it with a few of the cotton, uh, raw cotton stems that I already had in my stash and just a couple of pops of darker color, I think they're daisy like flowers, I'm not exactly sure. But I love how it turned out. I think it will do really well in her house and where she plans on sitting it, you will be able to read the thankful sign perfectly. I put my signature bow on top with some black and white striped ribbon to pick up the black that's in the thankful and in the sides of the sign, which is Buffalo check. So now let's move on to project number two.
Here is my second project and I made this one for our house here. It is in the traditional fall colors. As most of you know, we are here in Michigan and I love when it is the change of seasons from summer to fall and all of the leaves on the trees are changing colors and so I like to bring that into my home in the fall season. I absolutely love how the ribbon that Dollar Tree carries with the maple leaves went so well with the LED candle. All of this can be made completely from Dollar Tree. I use the gather signs as you guys saw on the bottom and I am not concerned that you cannot read that it says gather because I literally purchased those in order to paint over them and use them in a different project. But I was really happy the colors really go well with this. Now the pumpkins in here that are willow reef I got at Hobby Lobby a couple of years ago and the ribbon that's on the top also came from Hobby Lobby that was already put together on a different project that I took off like four years ago and so I'm not sure you can get that same ribbon this year but I'm sure they have something like it. So Dollar Tree has some beautiful ribbon they have a really nice plaid that would go with something like this right now. Also the little wreath that I put in the bottom came from Michael's several years ago on clearance. However, all the leaves that are underneath that that I tucked in and I'm not sure I actually showed that on this project came from the Dollar Tree along with the berries and the sparkly leaves at the top. I love how this turned out and I will be displaying it probably in my living room this fall season. I know at the top I did not cover either one of the pumpkin stems because I really didn't think it necessary. I think this one looks perfect the way it is. On my mom's if she wants it covered I will probably put some twine around it but I think hers works fine too. I also included a little burlap ribbon in her bow as you guys saw previously and I didn't mention that. but. Let me know in the comment section down below which one of these were your favorite that I put together. This one of course is mine because it's staying at my house though I really did like the one that I did for my mom. And let me know if you guys want me to make something else with these reforms. I've seen several other people do things that have turned out really really nice as well. Alright so that is it. I want to thank you guys so much for watching, for liking, and always sharing my videos and if you're not a member here at Lacey Space yet, I don't know why not. Go ahead smash that subscribe button, become a member, hang out with us for a while. We have a lot of fun here. Also if you like you can follow me on Instagram. It's Lacey Space the same way that it is spelled here and I will catch all of you in my next video. Bye loves!